Hi, Cheryl Grant. Uh, we're talking about the upcom upcoming DML conference. And what is it that's exciting you the most about the conference, its theme, and the subject area you're chairing? Well, I was thinking about this question, and I, I was thinking there isn't anything that doesn't excite me about this conference. And I, I have to say, I feel sorry for any comments that came before and after because it was one of the best that, that I had attended. Um, and my job, I work as Director of Social Networking for Haystack MacArthur Foundation's Digital Media and Learning Competition, and so social networking is what I think about. I, I try to use anything within reach, whether it's digital or, or there face-to-face, -to, -face, to try and get the people in the competition to figure out what they belong to and how to talk to each other and how to discover potential ideas going forward and how to help uh, solve some of the, the similar challenges. And so the conference was, um, I, I mean, it was paradise for me to see not just the people who were there on behalf of the competition, but also, you know, people who just are struggling with the same thing or they're inspired by the same thing or the, the things that they're doing. That The thing that I, I was most excited about is I realized um, probably per personally, professionally, but also with, with this whole big field that we're, we're building is that you have to collaborate. You have to find somebody. I, I think the theme with design, I, I mean, for me, it's, I, I can look at something and you could convince me that it was good. I, I just don't have the ability. I don't have that as a skill set. And so the DML conference provides opportunity for people to come together and, and, you can practically see the collaborations. You can see the sparks when you're, when you're there just hanging out for two days. So there, there's nothing I'm not excited about. I sound so eager, but well, uh, one it was of the fantastic. things that I, I learned as a, a novice is this idea of a personal learning network, and yeah, and it's a lot more than just the people who who you follow and yes. and and collect, but the, the people that you you get to meet. Uh, face to face, so so important for the online network part to be able to get together with those people face to face. So, what's the per particular subject area that you're you're chairing? Well, I'll be working as a liaison directly with the competition winners. So, the people who have um, won the competition for 2010, um, I'll be I'll be creating panels and and demos and things like that, so that they have a lot more connection to the field. Uh, last year, we we encouraged people. This year, I'm going to really emphasize. And I started right when the when everybody um, won their prize, and we were launching them in, in D.C. and in New York, uh, because I think it's it, it's so important. It was so important for me. I can't imagine. Um, it just brought the whole thing together, and and particularly because if you're a programmer and you're designing your first games for learning. You need to be able to talk to educators. I mean, these the, the subject areas that people are dealing with are so specialized, and you have to be so good in order to do something. To, to work with Drupal, you have to be very good. To design, you have to be very good. Um, the educators have to understand. You have to understand what you're getting into, um, trying to get your project into the schools. I see that a lot with the winners. So um, so my job is to is to uh, get as many of them there. They, they hopefully have saved the dates. Um, then I'm going to be working also to um, to help with the um, the social media. That was my uh, I couldn't contain myself last year. I uh, um, I blogged um, live blogged as many sessions as I could until my fingers cramped. Literally, <laughs> just I was the person going like this all the time in the uh, auditorium trying to get the cramps out of my finger. Um, so this year um, we're, we're going to take a little bit more of a, um, a planned approach to take advantage of everybody's great ideas and, and try and get things to, there was, there was a desire last year to keep things going. You could see on the Twitter hashtag that, that people wanted to continue having the discussion. So hopefully we'll be able to figure out how to do that this year. Well, I understand having participated both as a, a winner and a, a judge, the the long-term question of how can you cohere that community was one that that was acutely yes. interesting to me and yes. I think a design problem for the whole community to solve because you have this very exciting year and and then what and yes
So yeah, and I, I have to say, I, I realize that um, there's a movement um, among other academics about social participation, and I realize that participatory learning and being interested in participatory learning does not mean that you know all the tools and that you are somebody who's going to, uh, to necessarily engage with them in the same way that I might or you might. So um, hopefully at the, at the conference, that will be part of what people understand, how rich that is. People who are on Twitter have a totally different experience of a conference than, than if you're not on Twitter. So, um, and trying to bring in people in other ways, it doesn't, well, one thing, I actually, I, I, I liked one of the ideas that came up and it made me think of you is, is having rooms where the, the seating is different so that people feel much more, um, less of that sort of talking to and more of the talking with, because I think that's, that's part of what the conference was fantastic for. We were getting people to, um, in the hallway conversations and the bus conversations and, you know, it just, the place was buzzing with people having insights and, um, you know, hot packed rooms that will be different this year because we won't be in the same place. But, you know, it just was, it, you could just tell that these are conversations that people are dying to have that they want to have no matter what, if it's face to face and, and let's try and keep it going online for as long as possible. Well, you know, one thing I learned from by accident was this moving the, the chairs in a circle has huge power. And then I found that Harrison Owen, who's written about open space technology, writes about the necessity of putting the chairs in a circle. And if you've got too many people to fit in one circle, and you're going to have rows, make them concentric circles. So mm -hmm. let me know how that part of the experiment yeah. works out. Well, one of the, one of the sessions I loved was, uh, um, it was sort of an ignite session. And, um, you know, people it, it, the rooms were so small that people were on the ground, and, um, and I think that actually does a lot to, um, it takes away the formality of the question-answer, and, you know, we didn't turn, turn it into uh, an, an anarchic mob by any means, but I, I do think that when we take ourselves a little bit out of the, the normal flow, and I, I think you can do that with social media, too. I think you can, you can create sort of similar types of things with social media, so... So I'm excited about two things specifically, but but um, but the whole conference in general. Thank you, Cheryl.